Hello everyone. In today's video of Teaching Master, I will be sharing my interview experience with Pydas and hopefully this will give you an idea on how to crack TikTok interview. We will be discussing about these points today. Bytons is a technology company operating a range of content platforms that inform, educate, entertain and inspire people across languages, cultures and geographies. Bytons now has a portfolio of applications available in over 150 markets and 75 languages. Some of them most common are TikTok, Hello and Vigo Video. How I applied to Bytons? I was actively looking for a job change in 2020. That time ByteDance was aggressively hiring. So I applied via LinkedIn. So here in general, before applying to any company, what you need to remember is read about the company profile. You will learn valuable information about their business, their clients and the industry in general. The knowledge you will gain in turn increase your comfort level and confidence during the interview. Interviewers want to know about you, but they also want to know about that you would be a dedicated employee who has been a company's best interest at heart. Doing research beforehand lets you show your interest in the company and come up with the ways to help it operate more efficiently and more successfully as needed. Talk to any con connection who is currently working there. This will give you an understanding how the organization is working internally. Now when you have an op applying and decided for a particular role, just in my case front end, then read the job description carefully. Job description lists roles and responsibilities of the position as well as qualifications you need to in be able to perform the job. You can compare your resume to the job description. Think about how your past education and work experiences have prepared you to excel at this opportunity. This also increases your chances of getting interviews, help you prepare for those interviews. What you need to have is a good formatted resume, some good projects matching to the job description, any online coding platform links like CodeChef, HackerRank. GitHub link will also give you a good idea about what all projects you have done in the past. Stack Overflow links. If you have done any past open source contribution, you can put down the links also in the PR related links. On a side note, I have already discussed about how to get started with open source in my previous video. You can check out the link in the description or at the top of this video. Now the hiring process. Total of four rounds were there. The position which I applied was front-end software engineer. The team was ads network team and the job location was Singapore. Rounds breakup is three technical, one HR round and the interview tool was Zoom. So in the round one, mostly topics that might be covered, computer fundamentals like operating system, database, programming languages, like if you know JavaScript or Python or Java, then similar to uh, those programming languages, they will ask questions, computer networks, data structures, and algorithms. Engineering and project experiences so if you have done any past project or have done any engineering tasks in previous or current organization they will ask questions related to that like what tech stack you have used what tools are you familiar with how you have handled x situation in project a similar kind of questions they will ask in my round one the questions were related to sorting algorithm one output based questions you will be given a code snippet of JavaScript and then you need to tell the output of those small code snippet. One question was related to XSR, 
how would you do the XHR call and get the response, the whole course snippet you have to write. Then one Redux life cycle question was there. You have to thoroughly tell each and every step of the life cycle, what Redux to how the action and the dispatcher works. So these kind of questions were there. Then one react router related question was there and one lead code string based question, which was uh, given an input. You need to print uh, the string in a comma separated and then end question was uh, again a code snippet given. I need to give the output of it. Overall in this round, I have to write code and that code should be in a modular, not a pseudo code. Dry run code with some example so that the uh, interviewer can understand your approach on the thought process and whether every edge cases are getting uh, passed or not with that code or not. Explaining the approach will help the interviewer also to get to the desired goal. Terminology and past project related questions were there and some GS code outputs. Coming to the round two part. So once I got uh, a notification from my technical HR that uh, I have cleared the round one. After that, they schedule my round two. So the round two topics that might be covered will be related to the again fundamental of the computer knowledge. And then previous working experience, if you have like I have the three years of ex working experience. So they asked me each and every project, how you have handled, how, what tech stack you have used and what tools you are familiar with uh, and how you have done some of the web performance and optimization related questions they have asked. So these were the questions you can get from the previous work experience. So in this round two questions uh, they asked to me is implementation of set interval with set timeout. I need to write the code and explain the logic. And then they asked me to modify the code and asked me to give a better solution in terms of time complexity. So I need to come up with a recursive approach and then explain them with all the edge cases and some of the dry run with some particular example that whether it's a successfully getting passed or not. And then again, related to the web performance and optimization, they ask some queries like how the CDN works. Uh, if you have a lot of banners on the home page, how would you load images uh, sequentially, parallelly? How the script uh, will load async and defer related questions, they will ask. And then again, past project based questions and approach explanation was there. Implementation of searching algorithm, they asked. And then one lead code problem, they asked me to write the whole code and uh, dry run with the some examples. Here also the overall in this round, I have to write the code modular, dry run code with some examples, explaining the approach, some past project related questions. There were no output based questions in this round. So coming to the round three, so once I got the email notification from my technical HR that I have cleared the round two and they want to proceed with me on round three. So in the round three, also the topics that uh, might co be covered is a fundamental computer knowledge and the previous working experience. Then some of the lead code problem typical, like uh, in my case, they have asked me to generate a permutation. And then computer science fundamentals questions like processes and threads, memory management, red black tea and hash table. And then I need to differentiate what is a red black tree and hash table, how they are different with proper example and explanation. And then some past project related questions and situation based questions. Like if you have given X situation, how would you react? So similar kind of, so it's a kind of overall uh, techno managerial round for me. So the final HR discussion round uh, was scheduled after the round three, which is the last round. 
so here the technical hr generally ask the typical questions related to the my career background where i am working designations and current role tech stack which i am working and then why by done then again some follow up questions like describe any complex project and challenges you have faced any project you have done in the past which you think can be done in a better way or there is a scope of improvement in it so if you have a experience in the past project then you can easily answer these questions and then she asked me any particular plan or career goals or 5 years down the line if you can see any progress in career progress and what career progression you are looking for so these kind of career related questions she asked me and then at the end of the same call she explained me about the team role and the responsibility the tech stack which i will be working and about the hiring manager because bydance has a different uh, ge- geolocation setup so some of the hiring manager sits in china some of them sits in singapore so based on those geolocation you need have to be coordinate with your hiring manager so my hiring manager was sitting in china then after that she explained me the relocation working visa process so working visa generally takes 2 to 4 weeks of the time and it can goes up to 8 weeks so once the visa is approved then you have to resign from your current company then hr will ask you the documents pay slip of the previous organization where you need to explain a little bit about the component part which is which part is taxable and non tax taxable any stock options do you have or any other component if you have then she asked me any expectation in my mind based on the singapore location then the notice period based on this expectation and the notice period and an overall discussions uh, finally i got the offer letter and uh, the salary break up for 3 years of experience seems like this so it will be a kind of two parts they will be there here one way is cash plus bonus component and other part is the stocks so coming to the first uh, component which is the cash plus bonus component here the base salary which they were offering me to me is 8800 sgt per month which is singaporean dollar if you convert to indian currency inr it will be 494856 which is a huge amount bonus they are saying that about depends on the performance uh, from 1 uh, to 3 months uh, during that period what will be the performance based on that they will give me the bonus so coming to the total part of this base plus bonus 8800 was my base and she projected that 8800 will be the bonus then the total projected salary will be 1118.8k sgt per year coming to the stocks part they have allocated me 400 shares the rdc unit and values per share was 62 usd and that can be wasted for 4 years so the wasting period was the first second third and fourth year you can waste 15% 25% 25% and in the end 35% combining these two components the overall ctc was around 127.5k sgd per year if you convert this to indian rupees inr it will be somewhere around 71 lakhs 69794 apart from this they were giving me an extra sign on bonus which was 10000 sgt and that could be given in a two part 5k which is 5000 sgt was given to me first month of the pay and the another 5000 sgd was given to me after provision 
so this was the overall salary breakup coming to the overall experience and tips overall experience was a positive experience for me interview difficulty was medium level interaction was positive communication and understanding was very clear they were very supportive during the interview as well as hr was also very communicative and responsive feedback process was also smooth after each and every interview you will be getting a feedback survey point so you have to put a survey there and then hr was also very helpful overall tip for me was uh, if i could give uh, to anybody is basically explain your approach every time whether it's a small problem or a big problem and write a clean code make sure it will be a production ready not a pseudo code that's all for this video thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe and do let me know your bite dance interview experience in the comment below thanks